Well, that just plunged us into darkness, didn't it? <laughs> Wait, all right. Hello, welcome to the Realm of Unpopular Opinions. This is vlog eight, I believe. And the reason I've been doing mostly vlogs these past couple weeks is because they're very easy to do. I get to talk about whatever I want and all of the books and they're just easy <laughs> to film. And considering how much work I have, it's a bit difficult coming up with singular video ideas unless they're tags, so. I'm not sure which video I'm gonna do next. Possibly a recommendations video, but we're in a vlog, so you don't care about that. Welcome to vlog number eight. The plan is to continue Dune Messiah and Death Note. I might pick up something new, but I doubt it because I want to finish something. So the goal of this vlog is to finish both of those. Because I have a lot of work coming up because midterms are in November. And I've not really organized myself yet because I don't know how to study <laughs> for university at the moment. I'm really not sure. No one bothered to tell me or teach me how to study for it. So that's just bloody great. I feel like my professors just don't give a damn that none of us know what's going on. This is our first time out of high school and we're just looking at lectures and they hope that we'll pass. But at the same time, many don't pass because they don't know what the hell they're doing. So that's great. I have another class in 45 minutes, so I'm going to eat my breakfast, finish my tea, and then hopefully read a little bit before the next class. Then I have a couple hours of break time, and then I have another class. So today I might go outside a little bit, sit in the yard and read. So we're going to get some content in there, but I hope you don't find the vlogs too boring. I'm trying to spice them up a bit every week. Because again, it can sometimes be repetitive, but I personally enjoy watching vlogs all the time and they're very easy for me to do. So I hope you're not that sick of them. Right, yeah, no, I'm just, and like a side note, I am getting such eye strain from staring at screens all the time because like I take all of my classes on the computer, which is like a couple hours a day, actually a while. Then when I'm done with that, I take a break by playing games on my iPad, I check my phone, and then sometimes I even watch movies on the TV. So I feel like my eyeballs are just going to fall out of my skull if I don't reduce my screen time. So in an effort to do this, we're going to go outside, get our eyes used to the sunlight, and actually read something that isn't a screen because I can't take a break from the screen by staring at the screen. <laughs> so. That is what we will be attempting this week, and I've rambled long enough, so let's just move on. Did I just make a random decision to rearrange my bookshelves? Yes. <laughs> now that looks like a mess, but it's fine. It's fine. I have like six more shelves, I think, to assemble, so... Oh my god, look at this chaos. I am looking forward to it, though. I think I need to clean them and arrange things so it looks better so <laughs> my god that looks chaotic but yes here we are enjoying the book life I've I like how they're set up but I don't know I just find it kind of boring already <laughs> welcome back to cooking with the idiot I'm pretty sure you can't see me right now so this is gonna be funny but we're gonna make some cream pancakes and by that I mean pancakes with cream so Let's go enjoy this chaotic clip. It helps a bit. Or in my case, to treat tortillas with cream, so <laughs> don't doze while you're baking, <laughs> is the lesson of today. Two 
tortillas done so far. I mean, the pancakes, but they're kind of still tortillas. <laughs> but you mean the kitchen, yeah? It really depends on what I'm making. If it's lava cake, count me down quickly, but if it's not, <laughs> then it really depends. taste of cream it's just not good <laughs> I realize this is a booktube channel but welcome to my kitchen <laughs> right I'm gonna show off my cream here we go my tortillas are over there I'm gonna show myself assembling them because I mean who wants a vlog where all the clips are about books <laughs> am I right I mean we all love cat clips and food clips I'm gonna try and get both for vlog eight. So you're getting cooking and you're gonna get a cat clip, hopefully. This is what I'm working with for my tortilla pancakes. We have cream, we have coconut shredded, and we have peanut butter, crunchy. Gonna be a lovely combination, but I didn't have raspberries, which I really wanted. And here we have my tortillas. The next one is being victimized, <laughs> so. I will come back when I'm assembling and in the meantime I'm going to try and go find my cat to get a clip of her without burning down the next pancake. Here we are, a rogue cat has been found lounging. I love how every time that she's sleeping she's like, want to play? Heck yeah! She's like always up for that. Then somehow she's not. So yeah, <laughs> this is her bed that she's using that's right next to her, so. Magadian. Fair enough. This jack is coming along beautifully. The last one is baking, and we have our stuff prepared, so the assembly is soon to come. Now let's attempt this without burning ourselves. So, I'm going to pick up one that's not the first one because that one is scalding hot. And this one is <laughs> too soft. Okay, I can't win, apparently. Alright. First victim down. Let's get the peanut butter. This is not ideal because now my hands are greasy. Right. Let's get a dollop of that. Spread as much as is physically possible. assemble the second one <laughs> without this being a problem. We're going to put some cream inside this one. I think that's going to be sort of like the cannoli. <laughs> now let's pour the coconut in. Stop gliding. Stop gliding. Please, ma'am. Thank you. Oh, that just squirted out. All right. <laughs> and let's assemble the last one. I'm not sure how much I'm going to eat. I don't think it's going to be nearly this much, but <laughs> he 
You would think this is a lot, but no. When it's peanut butter and on this diet, we need to be excessive. So, I have no idea where to put this. All right. <clears throat> More coconut and we're done with the pancake chaos. So that's a lot of cream. I'm starting to realize, but it's fine. It's completely fine. All right, we have our dish. Let's dig in. Pretty sure you're not seeing the sky as I'm seeing it, but it's so strongly pink. This is gorgeous. Last just ended, I didn't have driving in an hour and a half, but I mean, <laughs> I'm gonna make a spread because I feel like it. Here are all of my boyfriends. Ironically, only one is from a book, and these are all from games. Game, game, game. Loki. <laughs> now, the reason that there aren't that many is because for some reason I can't find myself. I can't find it possible to ship myself with someone who also has a shipping counterpart. It just feels wrong. So, yeah, definitely all of these are single and and or dating my, me, like as the main character. I can't ship myself with someone who actually has a love interest. For example, Ben Solo has Rey and Anakin has Padme. I can't ship myself with them even though I would like to be with them, but I can't. It feels wrong. So, let's make this spread. Because I need a mental break, I am already very stressed. Wow, that's dark. I was expecting it to actually be a bit lighter, so give me a minute. Mm. A little bit better. I haven't logged on to actually say what I've been doing in like two weeks. <laughs> The reason being that I had my first university midterms, which was not a party because I have no idea what's going on, and <laughs> we started online, so mo motivation is pretty much non-existent at this point, <laughs> and it's been very, a trial, basically it's been pretty much a trial, but today, uh, or yesterday for being exact, I sat down and I was like, okay, fine, finally, let's just pick up a book, just read it, even if it's a chapter. What happened? I picked up Dune Messiah for a chapter, read until like 2 a.m. and got up this morning to finish it. <laughs> so yeah, I knew that once I started reading I wouldn't be able to stop. I just wasn't in the mood to start basically, but I loved it <laughs> so much. Dune Messiah was incredible and I cried in the end. If you've read it, you know why. I was dreading it the entire way through because I knew what would happen. I didn't read it anywhere, but I just had this dreading feeling that that would happen. But when it happened, I couldn't help but feel like it was absolutely intentional and it couldn't have gone another way, how beautifully he wrote it. I mean, I'm comparing it to the moment when Varen dies. In Wheel of Time, I was just going to say spoiler alert, but... Again, it's an it's a very old series. I'm not going to give a spoiler alert 10 years after that. Anywho. I I I was just touched and I felt like it was right. I was so scared that it would happen because I didn't want didn't want it to happen. But it was right. It was just right and I can't wait to see what he does next in Children of Dune. And then even the next trilogy. I'm going to wrap up this first trilogy probably like tomorrow because I'm really interested in the third book now because I want to see where he takes it. But, and I miss Jessica. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I just after two weeks, I literally picked it up and it wasn't the fact that I didn't want to read. It was just that I wasn't picking anything up because I couldn't put it down once he did. So there's your update. I'm super busy and this is like an interlude between my studying. Tomorrow's the second midterm, so definitely just signed on to let you know that I finished Dune Messiah and it was honestly everything. <laughs> I'm still a little bit sad when I think about it, but I cried. Of course I did. I mean, I welcome the emotion, but something you expect can happen in a way that you do turn out satisfied and that's exactly what happened here. I wanted to show you what I did with the bed. I bought these like lights for it and 
it looks so cool because it's a warm light unlike the white light that's actually over there on my bookshelf and the other light that was on the other bookshelf just fell off it wouldn't stick so I just removed it it was the flickering one anyway and yeah I pushed the bookshelf finally to the wall now my room actually looks very cute and aesthetic and up here we have Star Wars so a little room tour while I wait for my will <laughs> to continue studying returns good morning it is finally a good and beautiful morning not for any other reason other than the fact that I finished my exams yesterday I'm gonna fail them but I'm done I don't need to stress anymore I was literally so pissed off every day for like two weeks and stressed out and just not in the mood and motivated to do anything <laughs> I finally, after two weeks of doing nothing, I read Dune Messiah, as you saw in the last clip. I finished Castlevania in like a day and a half, which was weird. I usually would have finished the entire season, but I finished the last five episodes last night. Finished Castlevania. It was so good. It was even better than the first time because I caught the subtle glances and the hints. Now that you actually know what's going to happen, I love that show so much. I can't wait for it to come back. So we finished that, so two productive things. I'm gonna do some work later. I'm gonna finally actually do my book because it's been two weeks of NaNoWriMo and I've written a chapter that I think is pretty bad. <laughs> so we're gonna actually have to get cracking on that and I'm gonna have to do my online job because I like money for now because I have no friends right now and no one to hang out with. So money is where it's at. At this time of year so the plan for now is to film a separate vlog for attack of the clones because I'm in a Star Wars mood again but for this one I'm not sure if I'll wrap it up here or not I guess you'll see in the next clip but if I decide to finish something I'll definitely let you know I'm not in the mood for Death Note anymore I feel like that was such an October read that now when I stretch it out I'm not in the mood anymore and I just read almost up until the point where you know who dies I might read just till that and then I'll stop it and then I'll probably wrap up the vlog because both angels and demons and attack of the clones are vlogs that are gonna be separate so I'll probably finish death note not all of it but until that point today I might give you a little writing update, and this vlog is going to be long enough as it is, but it's <laughs> it's been a while since I recorded, so I think it's fair that it's a little bit longer, and hopefully we'll finally get back into things, because now I'm done, and I'm free, and online school can just burn, <laughs> especially if you're a freshman in high school or college this year, my condolences, because... It's never been this crappy. You can't meet anyone new. You have no motivation. The teachers just read off the slides and you basically have to teach yourself. So I've rambled enough. Let's just get on with this so I don't take up too much of your time because I, I don't know what I was going to say. It's that kind of day. I am thriving. This is so good. I'm going to finish the arc with L. I don't think I'm going to read more because it's like a lot. I've already crossed a thousand pages, but look at how pretty this is. Like, it's literal art. And I missed the Shinigami so much. I can't wait until we see Ryuk again. This is the part of the manga that wasn't actually in the anime. And I think it's incredible. And why they cut it out, I have no idea. The one where Rem talks to Misa in the bathroom. It's actually a long conversation and it tells you so much about Rem and I love it because we don't get enough Shinigami as it is. And the fact that they deleted Shinigami scenes from the anime pisses me off so much. Because this is excellent. I literally can't stop reading. So if you watch the anime and you love it, definitely pick up the manga because there is a difference. There's definitely a difference. Also the fact that Rem developed feelings for light. So if she did something for him right now she would still die because she developed feelings for him but like honestly same sis 
Remy's literally like, okay, I just watched this other guy and I realized the light is actually the shit. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, we definitely stand Rem. Ryuk could never, he just couldn't care, care less. <laughs> Rem just came to care for both Misa and Light and she actually has like morals. Rem Ryuk is just like <laughs> having fun and not giving a fuck. <laughs> Rem is just like... <laughs> laughing at Ryuk because he didn't know all the rules, but Ryuk couldn't care less. He just wrote down the rules and threw the notebook down because he was bored. <laughs> Why would he care about the rules, honestly? And we've established that he's clever when he wants to be. I mean, he got the death note from the king, and we don't know how he did that, so they're very different types of clever, and I would love to read about the Shinigami realm. I know that it's, like, supposed to be boring, but I would still love to read it. I love when Light tells Ryuk that Misa will be the one who picks up the notebook, so he'll be attached to her, and Ryuk is just like, I'm not good with girls, like, light, can you not? I love that so much. The scene where Misa hugs him, and Ryuk is just so awkward, is coming up, and I love him so much. <laughs> I know he's god of death, and he's supposed to be creepy, but I love him so much. And Ryuk is literally precious. When Light is having him write down the fake rules, he's literally like, Rem, the old man, the Shinigami king won't get mad at me for writing fake rules here, right? Then when Rem says no, he's literally like, alright, since Light, since you say this will lead to something entertaining, I'll do it. But I'm expecting an apple out of it. And he just laughs. Rem is, I mean Rem, but Rem too. Ryuk is everything. I love him <laughs> so much. <laughs> He is the creepiest character around here. The first time I watched Death Note when I was younger, I couldn't watch it because I found him creepy, but I love him. He is literally my favorite character. Ryuk is so happy that he's finally returned to the human world. So basically, he had to go back to the Shinigami realm. He didn't have to answer for what he did. Nobody else asked him what was happening. The king couldn't care less, really? I'd like to know what, Re what Ryuk did while he was in the Shinigami realm. I mean, it's been a while. <laughs> If we're correct. Did he just chill up there and no one asked him a question? Maybe he just retold them the story, but... I want to know what he did up there and if he got into trouble, because I really want to know. It's adorable when he says, I'm male, I'm shy when it comes to girls, but how he just, like, <laughs> becomes incorporeal just so he can drop her from hugging him. And small, small baby Misa literally jumped up to his neck. I love these idiots so much. The two Shinigami and their humans, I am trash for them. Rem and Misa, Ryuk and Light. I'm only sad that El had to be the victim in this situation because... I mean, he's not as interesting as the two of them, but I love him with all my heart too, so... Damn it, couldn't you have just teamed up? Like, please. Cheeky bastard, I love him. How cleverly he actually got Rem to sacrifice himself. He got rid of L and Rem at the same time. Like, we stan. We fucking stan. And him and Ryuk, I swear to God, as I said before, him and Ryuk are the perfect pairing here. They're perfect for each other. They love them so much. The scene where he's like, long time no see Ryuk, and Ryuk just laughs. Like, yes, we stan two chaotic individuals. I'm sorry for Rem, but goddamn Light got you. Wrapping up the arc, you know what happens. It's very different from the show, though. Very, very different. They made it a bit more dramatic in the show and, like, sad and the whole scene <laughs> with the rain. and They made it a lot more dramatic in the show. Here it's very sudden. But this specific line, while Rem is turning into sand... This is Misa's happiness to be with Light Yagami, but Light Yagami, to kill Shinigami, he surpassed the Shinigami. I mean, I'm sorry, but the theory about him becoming, you know what, after death, how could that not be true? I mean, everything points to it. Everything. Even the Shinigami themselves are respecting Light so much that they think he surpassed them. So let's just read the next couple of pages, which is depressing, and then we're going to stop reading and stop the vlog before we get to near because I'm not in the mood for that particular personality right now. We'll see. Maybe in the next vlog. I finished it. It's so much more dramatic in the show. But like, what compelled them to go on? Because I mean, the way that it is right now, Light could have just 
one, and this could have been it. We didn't even need the, I mean, let me see what page we're on. We're on page like 1,300. You didn't even need the last 1,000 pages. You could have just wrapped it up here and it would have been fine. Literally, I mean. The whole plot with Nier and Mellow, while sort of interesting, it's really drawn out and really hard to pay attention to sometimes because there's a lot of text and the thought bubbles and not all that you understand or care about and it's not L. So you're even less interested. I think it was very, very drawn out and if he wanted it to end the way that it does end after the next 1,000 pages, he should have just figured out how to do it here because it's really too long, the other portion. I mean, see, I'm on page... 1300 I still have a thousand to go but I mean <laughs> except for the ending I'm not really interested in what's going to be going on because like this whole outwitting thing was fun with L but now that L is in here it's just more of the same thing and relating to a conclusion that they wanted to do anyway I think they could have ended it here but if they wanted the ending he should have just done it here somehow I don't think the thing with Nier and Mello was really necessary my opinion at least even though near is quite cool <laughs> but yeah and i have a thousand pages left and i'm just so not in the mood i might just flick through it a little bit and go to the ending because i really love the ending but also light is just epic i don't see, realistically i don't see how he would have lost and if i remember correctly at least in the anime i don't remember if it's in the manga kira actually rules for like a while like for a good six or seven years maybe a bit less but for a while actually so i really don't know why he didn't just end it here that would have been certainly bold and like leave it up to the reader to think what happened next or maybe just write a little bit of a sequel with someone defeating like i don't know i just think all the next thousand pages are pretty much unnecessary but i'm gonna read like another chapter or two and then when it's like a few years later, I will stop and end the vlog. So let's just go. All right, before I wrap it up, I have a couple questions that you can definitely answer to me if you're a fan and no. <laughs> but number one, Rem was owner of the notebook that Light became owner of. And Rem was also obviously owner of her own notebook. So when Light is owner of the two notebooks that don't have a Shinigami attached, how is that allowed? I mean, it seems pretty <laughs> reckless that the Shinigami would allow a human to be able to own a notebook without a Shinigami. And I'm not going to read it in detail, so I don't know, so please tell me. How does Ria k kill Light then? Because does Light at some point gain ownership of the other notebook because Ryuk isn't like Shinigami right now. He's not shadowing him. He's Mises. So, I mean, for Ryuk to be able to kill Light because there's a rule that they can't kill owners unless they are their Shinigami, that means Ryuk can't kill him until he is the Shinigami that Light, <laughs> that Light is attached to. So that means at some point, I don't remember, so remind me, that means that at some point... The notebook that Misa is using will pass into Light's ownership, but... <laughs> but... Light has two notebooks now, and yeah, the one will leave his possession. The one with the instructions, but he still has Rem's notebook, and he doesn't have a Shinigami attached to him. I don't get how that is a thing that can happen, because the human can pretty much do what they want. They don't have a Shinigami to control or kill them. Basically, he's unstoppable right now, and I'm not sure how that's allowed, so please tell me if I missed something. Light is literally God right now without a Shinigami. He's become a Shinigami pretty much without even dying. But considering Rhea kills him in the end, and I hope the authors didn't <laughs> retcon themselves, that means that at some point Light gets ownership of Misa's notebook. But I don't think Misa loses her memories anymore, so what is going on here? And I might be thinking too much into this but if you know please tell me because <laughs> I am so confused and I want to know but on another note it's been like seven years Light has ruled 
Earth for seven years. How is there even criminals left at this point? <laughs> and also, how has Ryuk not been born? I mean, yeah, he was like, I'll create a new world, but five years later, Ryuk is just chilling and looking, looking at them have dinner. How is he not bored to death? Pun intended. So yeah, these are just some questions I have. <laughs> and for now, what is going to happen? I think I'm going to read the ending. I'm not sure if I'm going to leave that in the video or not. Because pretty much I'm done with what I said I'd read. I'm done with the first arc, which is the first 1,400 pages. I'm going to read the ending. And then I might comment or might not. But these questions are pretty much all I have. There's nothing confusing about the ending. Nothing that I need to ask. So I might just comment on the ending a little bit. But if anyone knows an answer to these questions, please let me know. Because a bitch is curious. And i really really need to know and i'm pretty sure a google search wouldn't really tell me what i want to know because it would be a very specific question that needs answering so please help me out all right i'm back i have to comment i mean i'm reading the ending now that's what i'm going to comment on it's a little different from the anime again it's less dramatic in this instance but his Slight insanity aside, Light is completely right. Completely. Like, a hundred percent. So when Nira just, like, dismisses him immediately and he's like, you're just a murderer, it sounds so weak and faint. <laughs> Should we just acknowledge the fact that Light is absolutely correct? What he needs help with is... <laughs> I mean, the fact that he wants to be leader. I mean, I'd say, like, you're absolutely right, but then what about all the people that you've killed who didn't exactly serve your agenda? They were just in your way. Like, what do we do about that? Where does the limit stop? We need to discuss it, but not dismiss him immediately because he's right. Which is why I think the ending is so weak. <laughs> it should have ended before. And then maybe the authors could have just said, yeah, this is how we imagined that it ended. And it ended with Light being defeated because he was taken over by the power and he needed to die. I understand that. But I didn't even read the 1,000 pages. But 1,000 pages of this just to reach an ending where, once again, it's proven that the main character has kind of lost his way because of too much power. But he's right and they just dismiss him immediately with a stupid argument and he dies. That's why I think the second half is weak, and that is why I think no one actually really liked it, because it was so weak compared to the first half. You could never hold a candle to L, I'm sorry, but... It's just so lackluster. I mean, you could have done it in a better, better way. You can't just give a speech that is completely correct, and then he dismisses it like... Like, not a word was true, but I don't know. I'm just pissed off, basically. That's so I didn't even want to bother reading the thousand pages. But now we're going to wrap this up. I'm probably going to have another comment because that's me and this is a rant. And this video is going to be 45 minutes long. And I repeat because I'm reading it right now. The ending is perfect and amazing. And I think it's lovely that he actually went insane because it's realistic. A human can't hold that much power, right or wrong. I think his ending is actually quite wonderful how he's gone so completely mad that he actually turns to Ryuk and he's like, save me. And Ryuk is, I'm not here to do that. I told you that from the beginning. So I think it's time for you to go and I'll meet you when I meet you. Which I'm looking at you deviously because we all know what the canon is. For all of us at least. I'm so going to watch Relight after that. Because I never watched it and now I really want to. From Ryuk's perspective, like, yes, yeah, sign me up. <laughs> but basically, love the ending. Just I really could have done without the thousand pages that I skipped. So, here we are. That concludes my <laughs> reading of Death Note. I'm so happy that I read it. Again, five out of five stars. I never actually grade things, cons like, based on one bad aspect like this story is a five out of five completely i would just change some things like remove the unnecessary plot that was added but it's still a five out of five it's a masterpiece pretty much so yeah it has to be a five out of five i'm really happy that i read it i missed it so much i love i love how everything everything starts and ends with 
light and reek like I, their beginning and their endings basically I think are pretty much epic the entire last piece where Riek is like, we had a lot of fun for the last seven years, but if I'm your last resort, then I'm sorry, Light, I think you're gone. Chef's kiss. It was so good. So yeah, we're done with the death note, and we read Dune Messiah in this vlog as well. I hope you answered the questions that I asked you because I need the information. But aside from that, yeah. A very long vlog, but we are successful. We have completed two out of the th three books that I was reading last time that I actually logged on to talk to you. So, I consider this a success, and I'm wrapping up the video here, so I hope you enjoyed. I hope it wasn't too long, and I will see you in my next video.